This is a bass guitar. By the most simplified definition, a bass guitar is made of four strings and several frets. The strings are numbered one through four, starting with the thinnest string being number one through the thickest string being number four. There is also a nut. The nut is sometimes referred to as the zero fret or open. Frets are the bars that run across the fretboard horizontal to the strings. The frets are also numbered, starting with the nut being zero or open. Most basses have more than 20 frets. Bass guitars have bodies. They also have necks. Bass guitars require an amplifier to be properly heard. When a bass guitar is plugged into an amplifier, the volume and tone knobs help shape the sound of the instrument. There are also acoustic bass guitars. Acoustic bass guitars have sound holes which produce pitch when the strings are played. When properly tuned, notes on both acoustic bass guitars and electric bass guitars are played the same way. You'll also find bass guitars with more than four strings. The most popular of these is the five string bass. When sitting, you can rest your bass guitar on your lap. If you put your bass guitar on your leg of the same side as your picking hand, you'll be able to reach the open position easier. If you move it to the leg on the same side as your playing hand, playing the open position becomes more of a stretch. You might find picking becomes easier in this position and playing higher notes in the neck is easier. You can also learn to play standing up by using a bass guitar strap to hold your bass guitar at your desired length. If you were just starting out, I recommend that you adjust the strap so the bass guitar is near the same position sitting or standing. You may find that picking becomes difficult if your strap is too long or too short. To correct this, adjust the length of the strap to your liking. Music is made on the bass by simply picking a string. You can pick a string open without touching any frets or strings, or you can place one of your fingers directly behind a fret and pick that string. If the fretted note is dull or muted, check for these problems. One, is your finger directly above the fret wire? If so, move it back directly behind the fret, apply pressure, and pick the string. Two, is your finger too far back away from the fret wire? This requires a lot of unnecessary pressure. To correct this, slide your finger close to the fret so it is directly behind it, apply pressure, and pick the string. That's all there is to it. If you can play this note, consider yourself a brand new bass guitarist. Here is your first finger placement exercise. On the first string, place your first or index finger directly behind the first fret and then pick that string. You can use a guitar pick or one of your fingers to pick the note. Next, take your second or middle finger and place it directly behind the second fret on the first string. Now take your third or ring finger and place it directly behind the third fret on the first string. Finally, take your fourth or pinky finger and place it directly behind the fourth fret on the first string. So all together, you have the first fret, first finger, second fret, second finger, third fret, third finger, and fourth fret, fourth finger. And that's the four finger exercise. I'm going to show you where my thumb is as well. I keep it pretty much directly behind my middle finger, but in the middle of the neck. If you have smaller hands, you can move up the fingerboard where the frets are closer together. On the first string, move your index finger up to the ninth fret, then play 
the same finger placement exercise. Forward. You can also play it in reverse. And even on different strings. The idea is to get used to playing notes on the fretboard. 